One of my YouTube subscribers asked me how can you calculate the model into specific metal to know the price on it. I would like to take this opportunity use the model that I have done before. You can find a link on the right top corner. Hi, I'm PJ Chen, an authorized Rhino trainer. Let's get started. <music> Let's start our calculation with a little cube. I'm going to build a, a cube starting from the zero and I want to do one by one by one. So actually I'm going to have the length on all direction is one millimeter. So ideally the volume of this should be one cubit millimeter. So let's do a test go to the analyze and then you can go to mass property then you have volume on the right top corner here it shows the volume equal one cubic millimeter okay we're going to do another test here this time i want to do um, snapping into one of the grid here and i'm going to type it five by five by five so you type it five, three times in between you have enter. So that's uh, clicking on this object and go to analyze. So it's supposed to be five times five times five. It should be 125. So let's take a look on mass property, go to the volume, and then you actually get 125 cubic millimeter. How does that transfer into the metal? Okay, so to understand that, we need to understand something called specific gravity. What does specific gravity mean? It is the ratio of the density of the substance to the density of the standard. In the jury work, we would like to use the wax as a standard because the specific gravity is 1. So let's go to Google again and type in precious metal specific gravity. I'm going to use the first one come up uh, from the research from Hauser and uh, Miller. In this chart right here that you have all different kind of metal and specifically you, you have the uh, precious metal. So we're going to use the 14 karat yellow as our example right here. Now on the specific gravity right here is 13.5. 07. What I mean is if this instead of being wax for specific gravity 1, it is 14 karat yellow and it will be 13.07 heavier times heavier than the wax. One thing to keep in mind is we know the volume of this one is one cubic millimeter this one is 125 cubic millimeter in the weight wise if in the specific gravity is one which is the wax this is equal 0 0.001 gram and this one will be 0.125 gram so now let's take a look on this example here we have a ring here and let me turn off the cube all right so we have a ring here and it is solid there's no naked edges to check on it you can go into the edge tool show edge and then you click on the whole object which is the ring it shows there's no naked edges and um, for this solid okay so what we're gonna do is we click on this one we again go into the analyze under the analyze that you have mass properties and go into the volume all right so right on the top it shows one zero three five and nine 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 three five cubic millimeter and how much gram it is going to be if it is a wax which is a specific gravity it will be roughly about 1.035 okay so i know that it is going to be 1.035 when it get printed into the wax let's go back with our chart here and for 14 karat yellow the specific gravity is 13.07 so what we wanted to do is have 
1.035 times 13.07. That is going to be 13.52 gram. And that is how heavy this is going to be. It's going to be 13.52 gram. Now let's go to the Google again. And this time, we wanted to do is the weight convert, uh, conversion from grams to troy ounce. You want to keep in mind that in the jewelry world, it's precious metal, it's all measured by troy ounce. It's not regular ounce. If it is the regular ounce, let's take a look on that. And that is one ounce. It's roughly equal 28.35. Grain. So make sure that, that you are using the troy ounce, which is three more grain, 31.1 grain. So our ring after calculation is 13.52 uh, gram, and that will equal 0.4347 ounce, troy ounce. And that is how heavy this ring is going to be. But how much is going to be? Let's go into the gold price. If you go to the gold spot price, and it's changing every day, uh, sometimes every minute, that you can see the gold price per ounce right here, which is troy ounce, is 13, uh, 32.90, so it's over a thousand, uh, three hundred dollars, and that's through the calculation. So let's round up the number. Uh, to be easier, so we got 0.4346 ounce, and then we want to time 13.32. That is uh, spot price. That will be equal 578 dollar. But keep in mind that that is 24 karat gold. We want to know what is 14 karats going to be. So you wanted to do is times 14 divided by 24. Or you can do is times 0 0.585. That will be $338. And that is the cost of this ring for $338 at today's gold price. Keep in mind that that is only for the material. When you send it out for printing, you also need to calculate the labor, casting fee, and also the material waste. So this is the roughly how you get an idea how much weight it is. It seems a lot for the ring like this is because the ring is completely solid. One of the way to reduce the um, cost could be hollow out from the back and which will lighten the ring a lot. We can do another demonstration um, later on. If you like to know how I hollow out this ring to reduce the weight, uh, to reduce your cost, please leave the comment below. And if a lot of people wanted to know, I would definitely make a video for you. Thank you for watching. Do me a favor, please leave a comment below saying, PJ, you're cool. I like this video or I have other questions. And also like and share my video that helped me ranking on the YouTube and able to create more free video for you. Thank you. I'll see you next Monday.